Jeff AZ Hot Topics here. Today's hot topic, let's talk abortion. Very sensitive issue. You're either for life or against life, really. Um, and coming from a man, really, it's all, it's only my opinion, it's my two cents worth. And I really don't have much of a say, if you will, because it really should boil down to the woman. And I know the unborn fetus, the unborn child, can't have a say in this so others are speaking for that child and I get that and and we should have people like that but we also need to look at it this way in America we should be a free country and therefore that woman should have the freedom of choice you know either yourself or you know someone accidents happen you know Things happen. Sometimes it's the heat of the moment. Sometimes it's a drunken moment. Sometimes it's, you know, God, let's hope this never happens, a rape type of situation. But whatever, things sometimes happen. And the mother now is put in a difficult situation. She barely can feed herself. She doesn't have a really good job. And now she has another mouth to feed. She has more medical expenses now. She has more food and, and clothing. How is she going to do this for the child? She can't even do take care of herself hardly, and now she's going to take care of her child? Now, granted, this isn't every situation, but the point I'm trying to make is that the woman should have the freedom of choice for the reason of really not putting the child in a difficult situation. To me, I think it is wrong, it is inhumane, it is child neglect, it is just flat out rude to force a mother to give birth to a child that A, she doesn't want maybe, or she can't afford to feed the child, she can't afford to clothe them or take care of their medical expenses. That means that child's going to have to live in poverty. And you know, to me, forcing a child to live in poverty is just flat out wrong. And I could go on to a whole nother subject on that piece, but forcing a child to live to live where, where where the child may not have food, you know? Child going you hear all the time how millions of children are hungry. What do they say? One in five kids are in are are hungry, they're going to school. To me that's just not right. Now granted we have social services, right? You got welfare, if you will. But you know what, and this is again another subject, but you know, you should not have to depend on the government. The government and the social services, these, the, the welfare programs, are really designed to get a person to the next level. It's a transition type of, of situations. It's not meant for you to live off of, to be so dependent on the government. You know, I was kind of raised in a way that you fend for yourself and you only rely on the government if you absolutely have to and even then show some self pride and and induce and, and make it work for yourself don't rely on somebody else but still it's a woman should have a choice freedom and for you to tell her how to live her life you know China tells their people how many kids they're allowed to have and they just recently made some changes there, but why are you telling someone else that they have to have their kid? Why can't they have the abortion? Now, unless you want to, since you're so pro-life, why don't the mother give birth to the child and then you adopt the child instantly? You'll end up with 20, 30 kids in your house. Then how are you going to feel about pro-life? How are you going to feed them all? The point I'm trying to make really is simply this. I don't like the idea of a child being raised in a home where the parent doesn't want the child. I don't think the child should be raised in a house where the parent can barely afford to feed the child, clothe the child. I personally think that's wrong. I think it's child neglect. And, and you gotta think about the child and not just say, oh, life only and let's not think about anything else because life only and force them to live in poverty is just mean 
You guys are mean. Freedom of choice. Am I for or against abortion? I'm going to just tell you this. Abortion? A woman should make the choice. It's her life. You should tell her how to live her life. She should be looking out for the best interest, really, of her future child. And the best interest of that future child is to make them grow up in poverty. That's just wrong. Because, see, when someone's in poverty and they have kids, it's harder for them to get out. But if she doesn't have a kid, she can then strive to get out of poverty, be able to afford to feed herself, be able to afford to feed another mouth, and then she can have that child. And now that child's going to live in a much better home. So, Jeff AZ Hot Topics today. And this is my two cents worth. I know it's probably not even worth two cents. But on abortion, a woman should have freedom of choice, man. Freedom of choice. I'm out. <laughs>